Hey, this is Jay here, and it's day 60 of the Bearded Bread Space. I got done with a video shoot earlier today, and I would be in the mountains right now, but I have some laundry to do before I need to get somewhere at 7 o'clock. The only issue that I see having is that there really aren't any clouds in the sky today, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to time lapse. I didn't find any really great time-lapse spots. Instead, I'm just using the slider for a regular video. I want to see how smooth it is. I have it going over these flowers, so I want to see if that causes any bumps in the track. I keep forgetting to undo this lock right here when I set up the calibration, and then it screws it all up. Make sure that when you take it out of the case and you're not traveling anymore to undo the brake. Well, I just got back, changed my laundry, and it doesn't look like I have enough time to go anywhere. So I'm gonna go into my backyard and just shoot a time-lapse just to test it out. I have the Evo Motion set up to do a time-lapse of about 38 minutes from this end to that end, and I just used a simple time-lapse. I also wanted to test out the built-in time-lapse on the GH4, so I've got that set to take a photo every five seconds for the next 30 minutes or so. It's not shooting anything super exciting, just kind of the shadows along the fence and getting some of that motion. Quick tip, turn off the image stabilization when you are on a tripod or on a slider doing a time lapse. Image stabilization using either of these ends up actually causing more vibrations and funkiness. Not the best slider shots or time lapses in the world. I'm gonna need to practice a lot more, but it's really helping me find out what I do like and what I don't like about the slider. As always, hope this wasn't horrible. Thank you.